Today I'm going to show you how to make a Baha Kura. A Baha Kura is a safe sleeping device which is made of harakiki or New Zealand flax. Uh, this is for experienced weavers only. This is not for somebody who's never woven before. It is far too complicated because you need to prepare your own harakiki. I'm not showing you how to do that. I'm assuming that you already know how to do that in your own time. I don't care how you do it. Um, but I'm going into the details of how many fenu you need later on. In the meantime, I explain to you the features of a vahakura. Essentially, a vahakura has three fenu. And most weavers who make them would use short and very long harakiki. The very long going from one corner to the other on any of those sides. And the short ones on the short ones going just up however there is a lot of wastage involved if you just use very long and short so I came up with a plan of also using medium and minimizing the very long fenu that you need so the idea is that the very long still go all across and up the medium only need to be in the middle on either side and the short, they just come up here and on the sides as well. So the numbers are short, 112, and they need to be at least 55 centimeters long up to about 75. We've got medium, 32, 75 to about 95. And then we've got long, a meter to about a meter 10, 15. Anything longer than that, just means a lot of wastage and as weavers we try to minimize wastage so try not to have them any longer if you need really long harakiki for other things just keep the really long ones right now how to get started the important thing is uh, in my belief the shiny side needs to be on the inside that is the soft side even though most weavers would do it on the outside because it looks nice but it's not about looks it is about the baby's comfort and as you all know, uh, the dull side can be quite rough on the edges and you don't want your baby getting any scratches on its face. So the shiny side is on the inside and the fitty is on the outside. And now we're putting them on in the way that I do them. Doesn't mean you have to do them the same way, but this is how I do it. Okay, now, I always start with the middle fitty because that is just the easiest for me, but you can do it any way you like. The way I lay them out is in their order of appearance on the fitty. So I have short and long, then the medium, and then again short and long. And the numbers are, I have 12, well actually, I have 6 short, 6 long, 8 medium, 6 short, 6 long. And they will be alternated on the fitty. And I have that on either side of them. So the total number on each fitty is 32 on each side. The way I do it is, I alternate shiny and dull, that way I know exactly where each of those fenu goes. In this instance, I start on the right hand side with the long one, dull side up, same on the other one. And then I follow this up with the short one, shiny side up. And so on. Again, dull, dull and long. The next one, shiny and short. So I do this until all my long and my shiny are used up. The idea behind this is I turn the dull over. Obviously, I want the shiny side on the inside of the Wahakura, and therefore, what is dull now and long will go all the way across to the other side, while the shiny ones stay in that direction and only go up. So I continue this on until I use all six of each up. Then I use the medium, and then I do the reverse on the other end with the shiny and dull. So now I've used up all my medium and I'm back to the other side to use the short and long again. 
Now, as I said before, this is going to be a mirror image. So I've used up all the medium, now I need to use a dull. And in this instance, the dull is short. Because the short will go this way. Then I do the same thing that I've done at the beginning. I alternate them. Dull and shiny, and now the shiny goes all the way across and up. So these need to be long now. This is for the lot for the middle ferry. On the side ones, it's slightly different. So now that we've finished our ferry, we start to weave it up to a triangle, just like a normal kitty as you do, um, a ferry kitty. You weave it up to a triangle on either side. So you turn the dull ones over. That way you get all the shiny side on the inside. Now important, while we as weavers always try to weave without any gaps, in this instance to get the right shape of the wahakura it is important that you Weave it slightly open with quite a few gaps on it. It might go against everything you ever learned, but that's the only way you can get the desired shape with the length versus width ratio. Okay, so this is the middle theory. So as you can see, we've woven up the perfect triangle on either side of it. And that will go in here and you should see that this is the wrong one see how it's going all the way to the other side and then up so we've got enough length to work that out while the short ones only need to go up now we're doing one of these sides and obviously one side the inside needs to have the same amount of long and short and medium as this one well, the other side only needs to have the short ones. So now we're doing one of the sides. So we have 32 short on one side only. And the other side will have short, long, medium, as per before. And we also start in the same way as the other one. Start with dull first and move on to shiny after. So we've done our 330. The middle one has been woven up in two triangles and the side ones each in just one. The sides the short sides don't need to be woven up because they're going to be locked off and just gone away, you know, just going to be woven up. So now we need to join the triangles together to form the base, which is going to be these parts. And there are different ways of doing that. This is the way I do it. Feel free to do it any other way. They need to be parallel, ideally on the same alignment. If you don't get that right at the beginning here, the whole Bahakura will be out of shape. I'm just turning these ones back so the whole idea is easier and it stays in shape. 
And then I only weave up about three rows. So you can see that up. The idea is, if you don't go all the way up here, you can still change and pull slightly while you do it to get it into the right shape. And so you continue to do this until you reach a perfect square on both sides. So we will add the other 30 onto it as well. And then we take you to the next stage.